Sarah Wiley led a public lab balloon mapping workshop on October 7, 2016 at the recently closed and capped municipal landfill at Bristol, Vermont. I snuck away from the ballooning and flew a Saturn V rig under a fled kite. The Saturn V rig pans and tilts the camera and every 90 seconds takes 25 photos covering most of the view sphere. I walked the kite around the landfill for 50 minutes and captured a thousand photos. A few dozen of the vertical or nadir photos were stitched together in Microsoft Ice. I kept repeating the stitching with fewer and fewer photos until there were no glaring stitching artifacts. Ice allows you to display the scene with different projections, but these don't make much difference with a simple panorama like this. I had ICE export a flat JPEG image of the final panorama. An easy way to visualize this scene in three dimensions is to add the flat image to Google Earth as an image overlay. You can scale and rotate the image to align it with the base imagery, and you can also wrap the image over the terrain model in Google Earth. The terrain model for this area is derived from satellite LiDAR data, not the older USGS DEM. Unfortunately, the LiDAR data predates the final capping of the landfill, so it's not a perfect visualization of the topography here. But it's quick and free and might be all that's needed for your project. The tan colored areas are where the new cap eroded away and was recently repaired and reseeded. Another way to visualize the landfill in 3D is to stitch the aerial photos in Autodesk's Recap 360 online. This time I submitted not only Nadir photos, but some of the lowest angle oblique photos taken by the Saturn V rig. Recap 360 used all 55 photos I gave it to make a 3D model of the scene. The photo files did not have any GPS data in them, so the only data used was the photos themselves and probably the focal length information for the lens. This online structure for motion service produced a mesh with 2.7 million vertices and 5.5 million faces. In addition, it knows how to paint this mesh with the aerial photos. Recap 360 is the best online structure for motion service I've tried, and it's free, although certain enhancements are not free. Your model lives online, and you can share a link so others can manipulate it in a 3D viewer, but it can't be embedded on another web page. The same mesh made by Recap360 can be opened in the free program MeshLab, which seems to have a slightly crisper display on the s of the surface. The grooves in the surface of the landfill are where vehicles or people move through the three-foot tall grass, so that gives you an idea of the detail possible where lots of overlapping photos contribute to the model. I think it's also possible to do some quantitative analysis like volume calculations in MeshLab, but I haven't tried that. Another Autodesk program that can accept the output of Recap360 is Recap360 Pro, a desktop program which is not free. Instead of manipulating the mesh, Recap360 Pro constructs a, the model from voxels, or 3D pixels. This raster-based approach requires less computation, and Recap360 Pro allows you to fly around the model. You can see the model decompose into the voxels when you get close to the surface. One thing you notice as you fly around is that the detail of the model degrades as you approach the outer edges, where fewer photos overlapped and contributed to the mesh, and where the ground surface was always far from the camera. It's not clear what else Recap360 Pro can do, but just being able to fly around might be enough. This is like Beggar's Canyon back home. Another Autodesk program, Remake, can apparently do volume calculations and other analyses, but I haven't tried that yet. 